toughest, darkest moments of my life, those guys were there for me. I'm Chandler Parsons, and I chose Morgan & Morgan. Inside Edition, weekdays at 4.30 on LEX 18. Good morning. Breaking news. Release the documents. Former President Trump weighs in overnight, joining the Justice Department's call to unseal the search warrant on his Mar-a-Lago home. The Attorney General, in rare public comment, says he personally okayed that controversial step. I personally approve the decision to seek a search warrant in this matter. Just ahead, how soon the documents could be released, what they could reveal, and the new report this morning that investigators were looking for highly classified nuclear documents. Under attack. He's wrecked his car and he's shooting at officers. An armed man storms the FBI office in Cincinnati just days after the agency's director warned of growing threats against federal officials. This morning, what we're learning about the suspect behind that deadly standoff, including his presence at the January 6th riot. Reason for hope, the brand new signs this morning from gas prices to airfare showing the U.S. economy could be turning a corner. And in Washington, the House had to vote on that historic economic and climate bill today. Heartbroken overnight, Anne Haitia's family revealing she is not expected to survive her injuries from that fiery car crash. Their emotional message to her friends and her fans. Those stories, plus soaked on the strip, Las Vegas slammed by a new round of storms overnight, flooding roads and casinos. We'll have the very latest. And sweet dreams. Major League Baseball returns to Iowa for the annual Field of Dreams game. Longing for a catch with my father, but still basking in this with a smile. The touching moments on and off the field today, Friday, August 12, 2022. From NBC News, this is Today with Savannah Guthrie and Oda Cutby. Live from Studio 1A in Rockefeller Plaza. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to today. It is good to have you with us on a Friday morning. Hoda's got the day off. We are going to have a great concert out there, though. Yes, yes. It's popping outside because Jack Harlow is here on a Friday morning, and those fans have been lined up for hours. In fact, we think this is probably our biggest crowd since the one and only Harry Styles. Yes, it's a Styles-esque crowd and stylish, and we'll get out there in just a few. In just a few, but we are going to start uh, with those overnight developments surrounding the FBI and the search of Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Yeah, the former president saying in a statement overnight he will not oppose the move to unseal that search warrant. In fact, he says he encourages it. And this morning, there are new reports detailing precisely what investigation Investigators were looking for. The Washington Post reporting documents relating to nuclear weapons were among the items. Well, all of this, of course, raises new questions this morning. We've got complete coverage for you. Let's get started with NBC's chief White House correspondent, Kristen Welker. Kristen, good morning to you. Savannah and Craig, good morning to both of you. That statement dropped just before midnight. Former President.